Alright, welcome back to Dead Rising 2 Off The Record. Today we're going to do something that I actually did not do in my Dead Rising 2 walkthrough. And that is a mission called uh, One Hit Wonder. I, I didn't do this because it's technically a psychopath mission, but it's it's more of a survivor mission because you don't actually fight the psychopath. My god. This mission is frightening. This is the scariest part of the game. Her name is BB. She is really annoying. And yeah, I kind of wish you could fight her because I really don't like her. What she's going to have you do pretty much is just have you do a fetch quest. Yeah, somehow she has these guys rigged to explosives. Where she got explosives, I will never know. But hey, that's Dead Rising for you. <laughs> oh, that, that's probably my favorite part of this mission. Just that one little moment makes it worth it. Also, the ending of that cutscene was pretty good. Alright, so the first thing she's going to want you to do is uh, wear better clothes. Actually, no, that's not true. First thing she wants is uh, f something to drink. Then she's going to want you to get better clothes. So, if you have anything, literally she will drink anything. So, yeah, there you go. Alright, now she's going to want you to uh, go uh, get something better to wear. This is simple enough. Literally, you go back to the... Um, I don't, I don't want to say entrance plaza because that's from the first game, but this little guy over here. There's a store over here in the Royal Flesh Plaza. I think it's Albert's Fine Apparel or something like that. No, Modern Businessman. There's a tuxedo right here. This is literally all you need to do is just go over there and get the tux. And then walk back. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that was pretty funny. They all like kind of ragged all the way. I probably shouldn't be attacking these zombies because I'm actually going to need them later. Oh well, just showing off some moves. Okay, get off of me. You're obnoxious. Get out of here. Alright, BB, what do you want now? So, she wants you to track some zombies over. Luckily, this game added that taunt button, which actually attracts zombies to you. It's actually not a taunt button, it's actually a skill move. But yeah. It, it attracts the zombies to you and just just keep pressing it. 
And uh, honestly, this makes this mission a lot easier than it was in Dead Rising 2. Because what you had to do in that game was you pretty much had to go out there, attack a few zombies, and then kind of go over here, and then you'd attract them to you. But this, you pretty much just have to stay here and just keep doing this. It takes so much quicker. You do rule, Frank. Not much longer now. Man, this must be really boring to watch. But hey, at least I'll have uh, probably shown off all of Frank's little lines of dialogue here. My favorite is still suck it. All right, now she's done. All right, I'm here. Um, I did just bring them over. Did the game just kind of glitch, or I don't, I don't understand. All right, here we go. Oh, this part is really stupid. It becomes like a quick time event thing. It's really weird. Well, you've been a good little assistant, cutie pie. And now it's finally time for my big comeback show. The performance of a lifetime. <laughs> I'll need some help backstage. <laughs> Help backstage? You mean we're not done now? Oh, surely you're not suggesting that after all this, I don't give my adoring audience what they want? The comeback tour everyone's waiting for? The big number? I might get a little angry if that happens. No man, just do it! <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Oh, Yo, man, just do it! Stop slapping Let's Frank's see. ass! Let's put on my God! Show. You can't keep talent like mine waiting. That uh, thing will give you instructions. Prepare yourself for genius. Prepare yourself for genius. All right, so here's the really weird quick time event thing. And, um, yeah, you just press the corresponding buttons. This song is, like, copyrighted or something like that, and, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of did a test upload of this, and, I don't know, it got copyright claimed, and I'm hoping, since I have my audio over it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter, and I can still upload this without any issues, but... Yeah, it's gonna be over soon. Also, this song plays during the credits, and it, it baffled me the first time. Because the first time I played Dead Rising 2, I never actually beat this mission, because it, it was just stupid. I just killed BB, and everyone blew up. And, um, so I never got to hear the song. And during the credits, it was playing, and I was like, what is this? This has nothing to do with this game. Oh my god! Stop talking about Frank's ass! So yeah, this is a rare kind of psychopath mission in the way that you can actually bring the psychopath back to the, the safe room. The security room. Can anyone hear me? I'll just show off a few, uh, you know, skill moves here. 
I love the roundhouse kick. I also love that. I love every single one of Frank's moves. Especially this one. Yeah, I love that one because of the things that Frank says. Like, every time you disembowel a zombie, he'll say something. Like, I don't know where this has been. Oh yeah, this definitely has some of the, you know, most amount of survivors to save. So, uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Ta-ta.